Hey, Rod Squad. Hey, Felita. Hey, Glam to Gam. Hey, Tanya James. Hey, Lady C. White. Hey, let me put my glasses on. Hey, Gloria. Hey, y'all. I said, let me pop on here on this beautiful Wednesday morning and do a live stream because it's some shit that we got to talk about, y'all. It's some stuff that we got to talk about, but today is a very special day. Where my Raw Squad at? Where we at, y'all? I got seven people up in the building. Where my Raw Squad at? This is some ain't some ain't right. Hey, Deborah, here we go. Here we go. That go Brittany. That go Deborah. That go Miss Key G. It's me, Riri. Hey, Tasha. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Heart Desire. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Fonda Ellis. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Lisa. Hey, it's the therapy for me. Hey, Tigger. Hey, Roslyn Buford. How you doing, baby? Hey, Emma. Uh, Coleman, long live Magmarn. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Lady Aquarius. Hey, Miss Bridget. Hey, LaWanda. Hey, Shishi. Hey, Black Jewels. Uh, let me see. Hey, Yaya. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Sharon. I have Sharon Johnson, uh, Miss Faye Kelly, Nicole Gray, Mary Ann, Wanda Speak the Truth, Kenya A, Frankie May, Jimmy Mixon. Hey, y'all. Hey, all my beautiful squad. Did y'all miss me? I missed y'all. Yesterday, I took a day off. Y'all know that. Hey, Peaches, uh, Platts and Things. Hey, Dorian. Hey, Miss Faye Kelly. Hey, Frankie May. Hey, Lakeisha Bass. Hey, Deborah Time. Let me go up. Uh, Jimmy, Frankie, Kenya, Speak the Truth, Ann. Ann, I skipped your name, baby. I'm sorry. Hey, Ann. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Mary Ann. Hey, Nicole Gray. Hey, Classy Lady. Hey, Melinda. Hey, Kiara. Hey, Faye Kelly. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Felita. Hey, Yolanda. Sharon Johnson and Sharon Leatherwood. Uh, Tammy Misunderstood. Yaya. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, beautiful. Listen, y'all. Today is a very special day. I gave birth to my oldest daughter 33 years ago, and I cannot believe. They be all be quiet. Hey, Tony Day. I cannot believe that I have a 33-year-old daughter. And I know a lot of people my age, y'all, um, like in our early 50s, it's hard to believe that our children are um, in their 30s because I remember being in my 30s. And baby, when I say I used to tell the streets, down. I used to tear the clubs down, y'all. I was a, I was a, 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 a party hopping, a popping my collar type of chick. Listen, I remember being in my early 30s and my daughters are so different. Hey, Lou. How you doing, baby? Hey, Sharice. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Kitty Lover. Hey, Sheila Austin. Hey, Latanya. Latanya Lee Joyce Lynn. Hey, Miss Teresa House. Hey, Linda P. Uh, 606. Hey, T Tiffany Hall. Hey, Fees. How you doing, Fees? My little sis. Thank you, baby. Uh, hey, um, Sharon. Hey, Bridget Omar. Hey, April Love. I'm so glad I'm on Yacht Live, y'all. Let me tell y'all. And I hope this don't piss my son off. But he was fussing before he left to go to the store. And he was fussing and fussing and fussing and fussing because this is what Juju does. <laughs> Juju fuss, right? So he always fussing because I'm calling Davion name. Davion is asleep downstairs, so I'm yelling throughout the house. And he like, why you won't just call her phone? Why you got to be yelling? And I'll say, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, Juju. So listen. <laughs> So before Juju left, before he went to the store, we was fussing, right? So when he just came in and handed me my cup of ice, because I had to tell him, y'all know. Thank you, Peaches, for being a new member. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Raw Squad, boo. Yes, happy birthday to my Nana Powers, y'all. Happy birthday to my oldest child. But it's so funny because I thought he was going to come in and say something rude because y'all know my son loves to be rude. 
especially when he was feeling like he want to be mean, right? So he came in and he just gave me my cup of ice and he didn't say nothing because I was on live. And I'm like, woo, because this boy, listen, y'all, Joel, I think he gets a kick out of being mean sometimes. I don't think nobody is just mean because they want to be. This boy really enjoy being mean. But anyway. Hey, in the safe zone, thank you all. I'm going to post Nana picture and I'm going to ask everybody. You guys know that they just came back from Bali, Bali. So I asked her what she was doing today and she said she wasn't doing nothing because she was exhausted. So I said that I'm going to put her picture and her cash app on the sister circle. I'm asking all of my squad to send her a little token so she can at least door dash a delicious meal for her birthday, y'all. At least we can help treat her uh, to a, you know, a door dash order because I know she's tired. I know she enjoyed her birthday to the fullest, but I'm going to post that over there there so you guys can send her um, a little birthday gift right uh, everybody thank you guys for all the happy birthdays hey Merle the girl hey squat Ross and squat happy birthday Nana thank you Merle the girl uh, let me see tell Juju oh Juju Ross uh, that's what I'll be saying to my daughter leave uh, leave uh, leave me alone girl okay girl listen Tiffany Tiffany, I'll say this boy, he enjoys being mean. So sometimes. I do be waiting, but I like to yell. Listen, y'all, I like to yell for my room. Juju say, Day Day did not hear me. I'm yelling, waking him up, and Day Day is asleep, y'all. My son's funny. My son got rules. This Aries man, I don't know if all y'all is around Aries. But airy men, they are something else, y'all. They funny. But anyway, I got to listen, y'all. I love him. I love him. He's funny. Uh, let me see. Tiffany said, hey, daytime TV. Uh, Davey, I don't think that she's taking over my downstairs room, you guys. Y'all know I got this little cozy. And I know Barnyard Betty said the room is red. The room is not red. The room is mint green and white. Um, very beautiful. You know, very beautiful room. I'm going to show you guys one day. But I know them people will be wanting to see so I starve their ass right but anyway the room is mint green and white and Davion has realized how cozy and comfortable it is so since she's come off from Bali she's been downstairs in my room instead of upstairs in her room and I got to put her ass out right because that's my um that's my personal uh, room when I want to go in there. Everybody is saying happy birthday, the best room in the house, daytime TV. It is, but you can't give everybody the tea. You can't tell everybody my secret. That's my secret, honey. Uh, let me see. You told us uh, you painted the room mint green. Yes, I did. It's Riri. I don't know why Barnyard Baby wants to keep acting like the room is red and it's all blood out and we bloods and we in the gang and all. That's not true. The room, you know, I love beautiful colors. Mint green and white is the room. Um, let me see. Thank you, Vicky, for being a member for 19 months. Boo, I appreciate you. I appreciate all you guys. And this this is one reason why I make it a point to not go too long without doing lives because I know that you guys have memberships. I want to make sure that it's worth your while. I want to make sure that you guys are getting, uh, you know, getting your money's worth. And I know you guys love me as well as I love you all. And I know you guys don't mind, but this is why I'm here every other day uh, because I really appreciate all the memberships and all the love that you guys pour into my channel. But anyway, y'all know I pulled up because I had something to say. And I'm not, listen, you guys, I guess because I'm so happy. Um, I had a very important doctor's appointment yesterday, you guys. And you guys know that I don't really talk about uh, my private see is my private life my privacy but I got very great news yesterday and this put me on cloud nine it's not much that can make me upset because like I said when it comes to my health uh when it comes to my health and what I have going on privately and when I get good news or when I get words of encouragement that makes me happy um it's hard for me to get in a bad mood because I'm really still standing in the pain of thanking God for what he was able to give me yesterday. This was the appointment that I was on live and my doctor called or her secretary called and scheduled an appointment. 
because I've been doing telephone appointments with her, but she wanted to physically see me. Uh, so I was kind of alarmed by that. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? What did my lab say? I was kind of worried, but I didn't let you guys know that I was worried, but I was worried, right? I was really, really worried at, about what she was going to say and why did she want to see me in person? Uh, because I've been having on uh, telephone appointments with her and that's been fine, right? So when I went in yesterday and she physically examined me and gave me the news that she gave me. I was so delighted. I listen, y'all. I took a deep breath. I was so delighted. I was so thankful because with dealing with certain things, you never know what type of news you're gonna have to hear. And when I say I was able to get it, any piece of good news, is 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 good to me. Anything good is always good. I don't care how small or how big or how whatever you guys. I hold on to the good uh, because I'm praying right. I'm a praying woman. Um, I have a lot of confidence and faith in God and God is going to pull me through. But the news that I got yesterday was just confirmation that everything will uh, eventually be 100% okay. But anyway, that's not what I came here either. Uh, Roz, my 22-month membership didn't show up. Oh, April love, I wonder why it didn't show up. Try to go to the dollar sign and do it again. Uh, Frankie may say, I'm happy for you, Roz. Thank you, baby, because listen, I was worried. I was worried yesterday when I got up. I made sure that I was looking good from head to toe. What you want to see me for? And this was my specialist. This was my, um, um, what is she called? She's called a... Uh, what is she called? A, nephrolo a nephrologist. This was my nephrologist, you guys. This is my kidney specialist uh, that wanted to physically see me. And I was scared, but it ended up being good news. And I was so thankful to be able to receive it. I was so thankful that she's so in tune to what I have going on that she's really uh, making me feel like my case is important. Um, it's always uh, good to feel close to your physician, whoever that may be be, uh, to have a good open rapport uh, with who's ever taking care of you and diagnosing you and giving you treatment. So I feel very comfortable with her. She is an Asian doctor. I was kind of skeptical because Asians, in my opinion, you guys, this is just my opinion. I think sometimes other ethnicities don't realize that us as Black women, we are in pain as well. Uh, sometimes I think that they think that we are so, uh, you know, so... Um, so strong and so built so forth tough that sometimes they don't think that we're in pain. So they look at us as if we're not coming with truthfulness uh, when we have certain complaints, right? But this lady, this Asian doctor, uh, my nephrologist, my specialist, my kidney doctor, uh, she is so in tune to what I have going on. Very understanding, very gentle, uh, you know, and like I said, she's really uh, making me feel, even if it's not the case, you guys, she's making and me feel like my case is a in, you know a very important case to her um so i'm thankful for that because she doesn't have to be that she could be dismissive uh she could treat me like one of many but she treat me like i'm very special so anyway, I made sure that I was looking good, smelling good, and feeling good when I went to see her yesterday. And I just had good news. I just want to share that with y'all because we talk about all the mess and all the drama and all the shit. We talk about it all the time, but I want to be able to give you guys some good stuff sometime. I want to be able to give you guys some stuff that will, um, you know, give you the influence to look to brighter days. It don't always have to be full of bullshit, um, but I am going to to talk about the bullshit because this is what this channel is about. It is a reaction channel. Um, so I'm going to get to that, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of the good before we get to the bad. Okay. God got us. Yes, he do, Sharon. Right, Roz. Advocate um, for your best care. Yes, I do, Lucinda. Yes, I do. And I'm there. Uh, let me see. I love doctors like that. Uh, they take an interesting concept in your medical health. Uh, they are the best to have. Yes, they are, Frankie. Yes, they are, because I've had to get rid of doctors before. Um, I had to get rid of doctors because you're not going to treat me any kind of way. I'm not going to be one of many patients for you. I'm going to be um, an individual that's important. Um, you know, I know these doctors take on a big, don't you like they take on a lot because they have multiple patients, right? Just like social workers, multiple clients, multiple people, but each individual case 
is special, right? And if a doctor can't treat us as if we're special and as if we matter, then that's not the doctor for you. So this lady that I have, my nephrologist, um, she gives me a very good feeling. Uh, she speaks life into me. And like I said, yesterday was great. A great doctor's appointment. Today, I'm actually, um, I'm about to clean my kitchen. I made my dishwater before I started this live because once I get through with this live, I'm going to clean my kitchen. I'm going to post my daughter so we can treat her uh, to something good to eat or something for her 33 33rd birthday um but i um i'm going to see my auntie because they beyond brought back souvenirs from bali and i don't know if you guys are aware but my auntie collects coffee mugs um and she's been collecting coffee mugs from all over the world from new york when we went to new york when we went to hawaii when we went my children went to bali uh when my uncle then went to new orleans anywhere that a family member go everybody always bring her back a coffee mug and she puts all her coffee mugs in this big old uh, beautiful cabinet that she has in her kitchen so today because it's a beautiful sunny day and I'm vibrating so high you guys I'm I'm in the best I feel the best I feel happy I feel you know I feel good you guys I really really do and listen I want to give this feeling to everybody if you're having a bad day listen to me you guys pull some of this goodness uh that I have going on because I am vibrating so high right now that it's just not even funny and I've been vibrating high since yesterday, right? My girls made it home safely. I could not thank God enough uh, for allowing them to travel safely. Been on one flight for over 14 hours was scary, uh, but I did not worry. I did not allow them to um, know that I was worried. Although it was on my mind, I prayed and I left it with God and God brought them home. And I was so relieved when they did. But then you guys know my oldest daughter, she had to leave here and travel back to Vegas. Um, so I'm like, oh my God, I just wish that she could sit still, right? But I know she had to get back home to work. My granddaughter had to get back to school and all these great things. So she was traveling again yesterday. Again, I was, you know, up waiting for my baby to make it home. So, you know, a mother's job is never done. My job is never done, y'all. But I am in such a good mood because all my babies are home safely. All my babies are resting today. Davion's been resting since yesterday. My Janae says she's resting all day today. I'm just so thankful and delighted for my girls, you guys. And I'm so thankful and delighted for you guys as well. Thank you, Bridget Omar, for the $49.99 super sticker. Thank you, baby. Thank you for pouring into me, Miss Bridget. I appreciate you. Let me drop down, you guys. Uh, let me see, Roz, when you feel good. Uh, we the squad feel good too. Oh, Latanya, let me let me pin you right there because listen, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. People always um talking about their pain. Trust God for better days. Exactly speak the truth. Um, I used to collect coffee mugs. Um, it got too much. I gave them all to a local restaurant that collect coffee mugs. Oh, it's me, Riri. Okay. Yeah, my auntie is getting quite a few. She's getting quite a few coffee mugs, and today she's going to love it because her Bali cup, maybe I'll take a picture, or maybe I'll turn the camera on uh, when you guys get there, but her coffee mug from Bali is gold. It's so pretty. Uh, Miss Sharon is speaking to duck. Is what? Oh, it's pink. But it's like a shiny pink, right? Okay, it's like a shiny pink. That's why I thought it was gold. Roz, I don't have cash app, but I'm uh, sending you $49.99 super sticker to give to my airy sister. Not, not for Thank you, Miss Bridget. Thank you, baby. I'll definitely give it to her, and thank you. I will definitely send her that today. Uh, hey, April Love, how you doing? Take advantage of the good day. Special K, I am. I am. Hey, Barbara Page, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Raw Squad, boo. Welcome to the Raw Squad, Barbara. Thank you, Shelly Mouton. Uh, Tiffany Say Facts, Roz. Um, awesome news, Jacqueline Drake, it was. Uh, Roz, that's how I am uh, with my um, doctor as well. I want doctors who really care and listen to me and de um, um, definitely thorough. Exactly, April Love. Exactly. It was so good. Listen, I've been doing telephone appointments with this doctor because I go in every 30 days. I got to go in on the 17th and do labs. 
every 30 days she monitor my lab work because if I ever have to get on dialysis, uh, she's going to be the doctor that helps me do so, right? So every 30 days I do labs and they monitor all my levels to make sure that I'm safe. Um, so when she said to come in, I was like, ah, I was freaking out. But it was great news. I love good news. Special K, me too. But anyway, let me pull up and tell y'all what I pulled up to talk about. Because I was in the streets yesterday, but I was not going to engage because like I said, I had my hands full with my personal life, with my daughters moving and grooving. I wanted to make sure that they were safe um, and do different things around the house. I wanted to make sure that they walked into a clean environment. Um, I just had things on my to-do list, a warm meal, uh, things that I wanted to do, and I was able to do that, right, you guys? But anyway, but I was on here, and I was listening and looking, and I think it's ridiculous. One day, we're going to get to a point where we don't pay uh, the old Big CC any attention uh, because I think that this lady, she's repetitive with what she says. Uh, she repeats herself over and over again because it's not that many insults that that you can come up with uh, because her stupid ass audience, uh, they're okay with her repeating herself over and over again. It was so crazy to me. Y'all know what was crazy to me when she talked about with this old 80 year old walking on his ankle, decrepit, nasty, crippled son of a bitch was going to do to somebody. That pissed me off and it was kind of funny, right? Like, what the fuck is this old man actually going to do to somebody? And anybody that he worked on their cars, they probably just as old as him. And what the fuck they going to do? Tell an ex granny to be careful at the airport. I thought this whole said that she wasn't for violence. I thought this old ho said that she don't wish violence on anybody. Why does she try to use this cripple, old, nasty, walking on his ankles? Like, who can't push him the fuck down? Who can't push him the fuck down with one hand and the other hand tied behind their back? Who can't? My grandson probably can whoop Robert's ass. Like, how you gonna use this old toe up <laughs> that was so ridiculous like i'm like do this hoe really hear herself speaking or was it the alcohol i don't really know what it is but this old lady really is living in denial she's of uh, she's living in denial she thinks she's beautiful she's not i don't know who tell her that maybe people trying to be nice but i don't see nothing beautiful about this lady her hair is paper thin is short. It does not even come past her earlobe. This lady, when she talked about Miss Loretta lifting her fupa, but bitch, did you not remember how, do you not see yourself? Do you not see that you are fat as fuck? You say you 280 to 290 pounds, bitch, that's huge. That's huge, big lady. Like, I don't understand why this lady comes here, comes on here, and so boldly lie to us in our face as if we're not looking at her as if we don't see Robert cripple ankle walking ass like he gone he's a threat he ain't how's he a threat see he hurt the people that he hurt already in a car he didn't physically with his hands hurt nobody he used things to hurt people because of his careless irresponsible behavior but is this man tough where he could square the fuck up with somebody no he's not listen not only is he old as methusa he's crippled so how he gone like girl i didn't understand i didn't understand any of that that's almost 300 pounds say it again hey glennis boom uh ross said that lady she is huge uh she 300 pounds ross i promise lou she gave herself 280 290 so listen so that's what i'm repeating I believe the bitch is over 300 as well. That's a big bitch. We'll only see her from her shoulders up because she don't want people to see that fat, funky, nasty, disgusting ass body. But I'm just like, who the fuck is she trying to punk? Who the fuck is she trying to scare with her crippled ass, decrepit, old, ankle walking ass husband? Ain't nobody scared of him. Ain't nobody scared of the people that he's affiliated and associated with. Who the fuck is scared of him? I wish that bitch take that energy with me. Send Robert old ass to California so I could beat his old ass up. Hold on. Uh, she definitely got to be three something. Lady K, y'all all said she over 300. I'm just like, listen, she a good three. 
<laughs> it's me, Riri. Say she a good 360. I know she's a big bitch. I know she's not in a position to talk about no other big woman. She listen. <clears throat> She come here, and I'm so glad that Miss Loretta stood up for herself this morning, although I did not catch her video, because she does her videos quite early, and I'm in California, so I think five her time is actually like two to three o'clock my time. I'm not sure. I could be wrong, but I didn't see Miss Loretta, but from what the videos would glam to him, and a few people that I've already watched this morning, I'm so thankful that Miss Loretta defended herself. I'm so thankful that Miss Loretta defended herself without even calling out her name because the last thing you want to give these whores because this is the whole thing right they want publicity they want somebody to say their name they want to be put in the algorithm they want to gain subscribers they want people to tune in in the art in the argument right this is the whole point. Somebody asked a question in the sister circle this morning. Why is Barnyard Betty sucking out the assholes of people with large audience? Because she's tired of being at 8K. She wants her channel to grow. She does not have any motherfucking... Um, what do you call that, you guys? She don't have any talent. <laughs> She's not talented. I don't give a fuck who she gets on here and try to act like. Um, you know, she does a very poor uh, reputation of anybody. Uh, she needs to get up here and act like the bitch that lives in the barn. Uh, that would be a good skit for that bitch. See, she wants to mimic people's lives that has a better lifestyle than her. If she comes on here and do a skit of her in that barn, shoveling shit and walking through past of cow shit, she will probably have a better outcome, right? But Barnyard Betty is tired of being at 8K. She's going to suck out the ass just like she did me to even get a YouTube channel and have any recognition. Let me tell y'all what the bitch did. She came here as if she had something to say about Bumpy Johnson, but all she wanted to do was get with my supporters Get with people that knew chopping it up with Ross, pull from me. This is why she came in so hot and heavy, uh, acting as if she was so familiar with, with everybody and wanting to contact everybody. That was a part of the plot and plan. Y'all know the devil plots and plan, right? So the bitch had a plot and a plan before she even came on here. And people always ask, why didn't she go to Keisha T? Why didn't she go to Diamond? Why didn't she go to people that she was affiliated with? Because the bitch wanted to pull something from me. They wasn't doing it like I was doing it, right? So Barnyard Betty being the devil that she is, the disgusting, crippled, twisted face, sloop footed, ball mouth devil that the bitch is, she came to me. She came to me because she wanted to pull from me. And this is how she got the recognition to be able to start a channel, to be able to put on a map. You guys see how it goes, right? So now she's plotting and planning again because she's been stuck and stagnated at eight something K for a long mother swinging time. For a long time, she's been stuck. And stagnated, right? So she's like, let me promote PT mom. Let me promote somebody with very high views. Let me come in being nice to people and being, you know, being deceitful in who she is because she wants to grow and she don't care who she pull from. She Listen, when you a charity case, when you don't mind begging for a living, when you are disgusted and you live in deplorable conditions like Barnyard Betty, you don't care where you get it from as long as you motherfucking get it, right? So when somebody asks, why was she doing what she was doing? Because that's what devils do. They come, they lie, they steal, they do this, they do exactly what we see this bitch doing. But guess what? It's not going to work because this bitch don't have any talent. This bitch don't know what she's doing, but I'm so thankful and I'm so happy. Everybody hit that like button, y'all. I'm so thankful that Miss Loretta stood her grounds because Big CC is a motherfucking liar, a drunk, nasty, decrepit, twisted face, ugly, old ass liar. She's a liar. 
ain't no way Miss Loretta is allowing her grandson to do anything for her private body, right? But because Big CC is disgusting and Big CC probably will let one of her kids dig in her ass, she wants to put that reputation on somebody else. It's not true. Just like when Big CC came here, I don't believe Robert said a motherfucker thing. I don't believe Robert said anything because if he know, like I know, that old woman is foolish she could find something better to do with her old, decrepit ass time. But this is what this old hoe choose to do because she's immature. I can't imagine this 80-year-old man to be equally immature as his wife. Um, I just don't think so. I think that he's there, but he's very disappointed. I think that he's very confused. I think that he's over what this fat, funky bitch do on a daily basis. I don't believe that he said anything to ask Granny. I believe this bitch because we've caught her in multiple lies. Now, I know people look at this old hoe and they like, what a 70-year-old woman got to come on here and lie for? Because this bitch don't act 70. Because this bitch act like she's a child. Because this bitch have motherfucking trauma. Uh, she didn't get to enjoy uh, being a kid or a preteen or a young adult. So now this bitch is stuck in that motherfucking area. Although her age has continued to go on, her mindset haven't. And this is why we see this old bitch being immature. She she can't rise above it. She she meets it right there because this hoe is stuck in immaturity. And then this bitch, oh, Rita, oh, Rita. But Rita, <laughs> you and Rita, you motherfuckers expose each other. See, what, what Big CC and Barnyard Betty have together is the fakest shit I've ever witnessed. <laughs> it's the fakest friendship I've ever um, viewed. Um, it's fake. A uh, Big CC don't trust you, Barnyard Betty Far. She could throw your ugly ass, but she'll be cool with you just to have an alliance. See, them bitches, they need to hold each other up. See, one thing I love about over here is we give love and support to each other, but we individually hold our platform down individually, right? Even my daughters, they don't need an audience. They hold their shit down alone. When Davion came here yesterday already way mature than big cc she said i'm sick of this shit i done said just about everything i could motherfucking say there is nothing left to be said and i'm gonna move the fuck on that takes maturity see that old hoe don't know nothing about that child um he's disgusted by her that's a fact exactly feast he is the listen love you much Ross. i love you too cheryl t uh that old lady has no shame it's sad shelly move time it's sad. Uh, BYB don't give a fuck about you, Big CC, and vice versa. Ooh, Sharon. They don't give a fuck about each other. It's all a facade. It's all an act. Big CC, let Barnyard Betty visit your trailer. I bet the fuck you won't. She don't trust the far as she can see her, and she's scared of her. She knows she can't whoop her, so she don't want her to come around, y'all. Big CC is fake as a $3 motherfucking bill, and she's not going to stop. Uh, thief of Pan, uh, let me see, let me see, Pan for... Hold on, Glam, uh, for that flaw friendship and Big CC steak as I uh, can't be bought for a dollar. Exactly, Glam. She didn't bought that hoe for a dollar. And they keep on wanting to try to act like because these stupid, evil, retarded. Now, it's, I'm going to tell y'all about retarded, right? I'm going to tell y'all what I saw. Hold on. To let y'all know that the supporters that support those left side channels is really something wrong with them bitches. Them bitches really have alcoholism, <laughs> drug addictions, uh, retarded, just slow, delayed. Like they supporters don't got the good sense God gave nobody, right? But anyway, so and I'm gonna tell y'all why in a minute. But those bitches over there lying. She trying to act like, oh, because I get cash apps and I get super chicken and I get this Miss Loretta. We all as content creators have received a cash app a super sticker, a super chat. We've all received that. It ain't nothing special about that uh, because this is what your supporters do. But I think that's the trick to make them people go in their pockets and spend. I was being nosy the other night, right?
And I heard the most stupidest, and I don't know how many people witnessed this argument, but it was uh, Warren G., Bama. I'm going to say their motherfucking name, Warren G., because they, they're not content creators. Warren G., Bama, in the safe zone. All these bitches that support the left side, Bama's were they was having the most retardedest argument on a platform, you guys. Now, I don't know who heard this. It was late, and I was up laying in my bed. It was the last night my kids was in Bailey, so I was Bali, so I was up. And listen, y'all, I mean, when I say the most retardedest argument that I've ever heard before in my life, it didn't make no sense. I couldn't tell who started it, how it started, what was it about. It just sounded like a bunch of drunk motherfuckers cussing at each other and maybe they knew what the fuck was going on i couldn't keep up because it was so stupid it was a bunch of women now these wasn't young women i said i'm listening to a bunch of people that deal with trauma and all these people are left side supporters a lot of those people were trained writers and it makes sense to me how these ridiculous retarded motherfuckers Stick by stupidity because Barnyard Betty, I don't see how and who, and I don't see how people can report her. I mean, can support her. I don't see how people rip, uh, support Big Cece. I don't think it's nothing good about neither one of them bitches, right? But these hoes come on here and they have retarded support. It's just crazy. Uh, he's not going anywhere. Um, he has nowhere to go but prison. Exactly, 21 guys. Uh, Miss Bridget, uh, Tiffany Hall say, Bridget, exactly. Old Robert is counting down to April. And did you hear the old bitch? Because you messing with a man that's already stressed the fuck out, bitch. Yeah, we know. We know he got, and what he going to do? First of all, he got to make it out of Roxborough first to be able to do anything to anybody. He got to make it out of Roxborough. Hold on, y'all. Did they come put this in the freezer? My ice is melting. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I have to eat me some ice. My ice is sitting here melting. And Joel got me some ice from Starbucks, so y'all know it is delicious. Hold on. I love me some ice, y'all. Every morning, I have to have ice. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Okay, everybody is speaking to Black Remy Ma. Hello, Tracy. Hey, T-Mac. Trauma bonding is why they're all connected. Lucinda, let me pin you. I got to put Lucinda, th this is exactly what we watching, you guys, is trauma bonding, because like I said, if anybody was in the lives the other night and heard these ridiculous ass, old ass, 50, 60 and plus women arguing, then you know what the fuck I'm talking about. It, I'm not promoting the channel because I don't deal with the person, but I'm letting y'all know it was crazy. Wait, wait now. Uh, does someone have a fake page of me? Uh, let me see. It wasn't me. Like, oh, do they got a fake page of you? Ray Mary. And honey, you know, they will definitely make one. Let me go up and see where, where you see that at in the safe zone. Uh, trauma bonding is definitely what it is, uh, Lucinda. Uh, does reporting really do anything? Yes, it do. It's me, Riri. Listen, keep reporting. It de when that lady was talking, saying some of the shit that she was saying, it definitely arise to the occasion of reporting. Uh, reporting definitely will do something. Um, I heard it rise. Um, I went the I went live. Um, it was okay, Lou. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was the stupidest, most immature, and those are their supporters, Lucinda. Those women that was on there bickering and arguing and all the drunk shit and Warren G and all. I'm like, those are those bitches' supporters.
These are the type of people that support Big Cece. These are the type of people that uh, support Barnyard Betty. Like, listen, I guess it's support for all type of channels. It's support out there for all type of channels. I don't know. Uh, Cece needs to be demonetized, and she will be, Tiffany Hall. Let me pin you. Let me put you right there, Tiff. And she will be. Davion, can you do me a favor again, baby? I know I'm getting on your nerves. Can you put me three eggs on a boil? I'm about to clean. I'm going to go get me a soft loaf of bread. I may have a loaf of bread and make me some um egg salad. Yeah, I'm going to make that while I clean the kitchen. And we're going to see Auntie Lane today, right? Okay. Okay, let me see. I hate nothing to think with if Warren G uh, was on the panel. I know it was a drug man. Ooh, nothing to think with. When I say I was so curious to listen, because I wanted to know what was really taking place. I could not understand what the fuck the argument was about. Who started? The, it was like a retarded mess. I felt retarded trying to figure it out. <laughs> I felt retarded trying to figure out why these drunk motherfucking hoes was on here arguing. And then somebody, hey, royalty queen. And then somebody, uh, son is in the hospital, been in the hospital for over 72 days. And you mean to tell me this is what you're doing with your time? This, listen, if my child... I don't know how people deal with, you know, being hurt or deal with certain things because I don't want to say what I wouldn't do if I was in that situation because I don't motherfucking want to be in that situation. I don't want to have a child be shot multiple times and land up in the hospital fighting for their life. I don't want that. And, and my heart goes out to anybody that has that. But I just didn't understand why are you wasting your time arguing with people that you don't know on the Internet? When you got that real life situation going on, it just, it, it behooved, it's behooved, it behooved the fuck out of me, right? But anyway, hey, Black Remy, <laughs> they, they don't laugh. Um, I heard about the argument, Bama and Warren G, um, in love, and my, oh, Brittany, you heard about it. Baby, I felt so stupid trying to figure out what was that argument about. I'm like, listen. I said, let me get out they motherfucking bushes because I feel retarded trying to figure it out. Uh, let me <laughs> they, they quit laughing at me. I was finna say, I saw a rhyme. It was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, Queen T say that fake Christian is the worst. Uh, she support anything uh, she claims she dislikes. Exactly, Queen T. She's a liar. Anytime you uh, support Big C, she, she talks sexual about an eight-year-old child, and you're supposed to be so against uh, people talking against children, you a motherfucking liar. The truth ain't in you. See, that's the stupid shit I'm talking about. Oh, I can't stand chopping it up with Roz because she talks about Bumpy Johnson kids. But then you over here clapping for a bitch that says worse. Like, make it make sense, bitch. Make, make me a believer, ho. See, listen, I can't stand a motherfucker. Let me tell y'all something. I can't stand a bitch that conform to who they like. If you against some shit, you against it no matter who does it. If, if I'm standing for something, I'm standing for it no matter who the fuck it is. But when you fall for shit just because of a motherfucker that you want to be cool with, you fake is a motherfucking $3 bill. And I can't respect you. See, I like motherfuckers that stand on principle. If you stand on shit and you don't give a fuck if it's me, if it's the man in the moon, if it's the bitch down the street, you standing on motherfucking principle. You don't give a fuck who it is. If you ain't with it, you ain't with it. And that fake Christian, she, I don't even pay her no attention, y'all. If y'all, if y'all realize some of these whack ass bitches, I won't even argue with. They too motherfucking beneath my feet. And when I say beneath my feet, they not motherfucking worth it. They like a piece of gum stuck to the bottom of my shoe. They not, I want to get the gum off my shoe and keep it moving. They not worth my motherfucking time. This is why, oh, hold on. Let me see what Big Meyer wants. Hey, baby daddy. Oh, well, what is, um, why is it that crazy? I keep calling her. Oh, she, had, she probably sleep. You know, they just came back from Bali yesterday. Oh, okay. Keep calling her or wait till about one o'clock when Kai almost out of school. Because I know she took Kai to school. Okay, baby. Okay, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
He trying to get in touch with his daughter for her birthday. What is my Janae doing? <laughs> he like, he blowing her phone up and she is not answering. Uh, let me see. Lucinda say, Sharon, um, I'll visit my friend. Uh, but we know uh, they are fake. Ooh, baby. Uh, Sharon say, uh, CC, act your agent, not your IQ, bitch. Say it again, Sharon. That whole, listen, I, the bitch is stagnated. She's stuck in stupidity. I don't know where the bitch had the most trauma, but that bitch did not age. She grew old. She looks old. Uh, she gained the weight. Uh, she looked like an old, elderly, ugly ass albino bitch, but the bitch didn't grow. Her brain stopped. Her brain stopped at the trauma age that she was. Uh, Lucinda, uh, she would never. Uh, she's faking right now. What happened? Uh, Jersey Girl 07 say, it shows what type of boss you are uh, when you can run your own channel alone. Hey, let me pin you, Jersey Girl 07, because I like to be a boss. A boss of my own rights, calling my own shots, making my own rules, doing what the fuck I do the way I want to do it. Hold on. Uh, Darcy say, T-Mag, uh, she's in here deep. You know that fat bitch up in here. Uh, Charlotte say, they over there uh, now trying to call themselves the right side. Oh, big CC channel, but ain't nothing right about them. No good snake. Exactly. But they want to call themselves everything that we are. Everything that we are, you, uh, oh, I'm the goat. Oh, this my sector. Oh, we the right side, bitch. Listen. Let me tell y'all something about originality. See, original, organic is always best. Anytime a bitch try to duplicate some shit that you're already doing, they already lost. They already lost in the sauce because you can't redo what the fuck we've already done. So everything Big CC is over there saying, she says a lot of shit. And this bitch wants to be my son. But see, I'm a mature adult woman. And that hoe could never even think about living up to my standards or being on my level. But the bitch try. When she tied on her video and she want to use the word bitch, she spells it like I spell it, B-I-S-H. She does what I do. This bitch is 70 years old. She's like, what, 20, 20 something years my senior. But the bitch is looking up to me. Bitch, if you're looking up to me, then you're going to come on here. You're going to say what's right. No matter how much uh, you're upset, you're going to call a thing a thing. You're going to be able to stand in your motherfucking truth. You're going to quit getting on here motherfucking lying. You ain't going to never think that you can get up here and weaponize Robert frail ass. Like you can't weaponize a motherfucker that we can flick with our motherfucking index finger and knock his old cripple ankle walking ass down. You can't weaponize him. He's not a weapon, bitch. He's like, a, like what do you call him? He's weak. <laughs> bitch he's weak right but anyway hey danielle knew me how you doing sis i listen to say ask big cc to go visit of uh, the thief at the barn and come on camera listen she would never she ain't going to that motherfucker listen ain't too many people going to the barn ain't too, listen ain't nobody trusted that motherfucking barn or big titty ass patches you know how patches are active he ever had a decent motherfucking human being show up at that motherfucking barn them people over there living like hills have eyes when you make it to that motherfucker you won't make it from it and i don't know what they was plotting and planning for me but i would have never made it to that motherfucker i would have never even thought about visiting motherfucking franklin texas but them motherfuckers was drooling thinking that they was going to trick me to come out there, bitch. I would never. Uh, they, they tired of these uh, repeating ass folks. Don't blame her. Yes, Miss Dorothy. They, they say she owned the bigger and better. They, they, and listen, they, they got more motherfucking sense than a lot of them. See, I'm going to continue to do my reactions because I enjoy it. The moment I stop enjoying dog walking these bitches, the moment I will stop. I enjoy it, right? Because I like busting a bitch out that does evil shit like these twisted evil bitches do. I like to laugh at these bitches, right? I like to talk shit about them. I like to dare them. I like to ask the bitch what the fuck she gonna do, when she gonna do it, and how the fuck you gonna do it. I like to challenge these hoes. I like to get on here and laugh at these bitches, especially weak ass, this weak ass, old ass, decrepit ass man. Oh, cause he, he, you never know what he gonna do. Bitch, he ain't gonna do shit, but sit his funky ass down and sit there and go fry or scramble a motherfucking egg for you and that motherfucking baby. That's what the fuck she gonna do. Now let me get to this bitch because I heard her. 
I heard her the other day. Now, y'all know I love men. I am heterosexual. I've never had an experience with a woman. Never wanted an experience with a woman. Never thought about an experience with a woman. But this hoe wants to suck out of my ass. Big CC. And then she wants to invite her daughter to do the motherfucking same. Because I believe either her daughter or her granddaughter has been in open lesbian relationships i believe that they have now i got some tea about the daughter's boyfriend this bitch is 44 her boyfriend is 36 i did have his name and i don't know what goes on with the email people i tried to send glam to glam information that was sent to me because i didn't understand what the fuck it was they sent to me i just know that it was a police record and apparently the boyfriend was on um, he was a parolee and he was a registered parolee. His birthday is July 3rd. He's 36 years old and he had assault on a woman. This means that the boyfriend, and I don't have to say in my opinion, because it was sent to me and I believe it. It seemed like authentic police records. He's a woman beater. Um, he's much younger than Dimples. Dimple is an insecure uh, paymaster. She likes to take care of her men. I don't know. And I guess because I mentioned her is that some they want to try to act like it's some type of attraction. That's a deflection. Big CC feel like if I say she wants a relationship with my daughter, she'll quit coming here and telling the truth about my daughter. That's not going to work, bitch, because I don't give a fuck what y'all think. I don't give a fuck what them left side people say. Um, I wouldn't touch that bitch with somebody else's motherfucking hands, right? I like men. Um, I wouldn't touch her young ass boyfriend. Like her boyfriend is three years older than my oldest child. This means that I could have been that motherfucker's mama. Um, I couldn't be Kim Dimple's mom, but I could be her baby, her boy, her baby boyfriend. I'm gonna call him the baby boyfriend. And then the little dreadhead motherfucker got the nerve to be a woman beater. <laughs> like, where I don't know where they find these people at. But big CC he got a whole circus of motherfucking losers, nothing ass niggas, and hillbillies connected with her, right? This is what's been exposed about this bitch. He's a he's a woman beater. He's 36 years old. His birthday is July 3rd. He don't have nowhere to go and Dimples is taking care of this motherfucker, right? So she comes here and she try to act like she don't know. And I can't wait to get his name again because I did have his whole name where we could have looked him up ourselves. I'm so mad that I didn't screenshot it uh, like I did the police records on Dimple because all them bitches is criminals. Now, Big CC said everybody been a jail bitch. That's not true. I don't have not one uh, criminal report on me. I made it to 51 years old without ever going to court but you said I'm a scammer you said I'm all these things but for some reason somehow me being a scammer never been to jail my kids being gangbangers never been to jail so everybody been to jail is not a true statement it's a lot of people I know that just ain't never been to jail right but I'm going to be able to tell you guys all the tea about Dimple's young guy's boyfriend uh, that she's paying him to be there. Uh, he pays no bills. <laughs> I don't even really think it's much bills to a trailer. Uh, they drinking water out of a motherfucking well. I don't know how that works. I was hoping Feast, I heard Feet talking about it. And I'm just like, I don't know if it's recycled water. I don't know how it works. I've never used water out of a well. Uh, but those hillbillies, uh, they seem to know all about it, right? But anyway, uh, Miss Bridget say, absolutely. Big CC doesn't trust a BYB. She just kissing, um, get ass uh, to keep BYB for real uh, fake with her. Uh, too much fake shit. Uh, let me see, by the way, the, uh, between the two. Yes, Miss Bridget, let me pin you, baby. But they don't mind. Listen. Two fake bitches that don't mind being fake with each other. They fake with everybody. The bitch pulled up over here, had information on Bumpy Johnson. The bitch was fake with me. See, but when I cut the bitch off, she was like, damn, I was trying to take her platform and ruin it. Um, you know why BYB been mad at me all this time? Because I interrupted what the plot and plan was with me. She was going to run off all my main supporters. She was going to make my channel uh so you know, unlikable. She wanted to make, she wanted to, um, she wanted to cause my channel to lose. And when I told that bitch to 
get the fuck on, it interrupted what she had planned for me because it's all it all was fake. It all was fake, but I felt it. And I listened to I listened to myself and what was being said to me in my mind and get the fake funky bitch away because I just was like, it was just too many red flags about the tacky bitch to me. And I like stand-up women. I like women that can be who they are, like glam to glam. I love me some Britney. Britney know that I love her. Um, a fee, I love her. I love in the safe zone, royalty queen. I love all you guys but it's just I have my pick of women that I know is able to stand in who the fuck they are and I adore that I seen these bitches was fake pretending like it was all I say get your fake ass away from me hold on uh let me see let me go up um i see everybody talking sharon say public byb won't cash oh public opinion and last uh yes she do that's all she wants she wants them people to take care of her uh well that water got great goose in it oh you think the well water public opinion and last it got great goose in it it must be, but I want to, I want to investigate how do well water work? Like, do they fill it? Do it come out of a, like, where do it come from? Is it recycled water? That got to be gross. And she talk about, she sit her fat funky ass in the tub. Like when she left the water out the tub, do it go back to the motherfucking well? Do it got big CC ass uh, juices in the well water? Like that got to be some gross shit. Uh, big CC and BYB drinking from the same nasty water. Ooh, nothing to think with. They both got wells. <laughs> like what type of hillbilly uh, back in the 1902 shit? What the fuck they got going on? Like, girl, get you a faucet. Get you some filtered motherfucking water hose. Like girl, a uh, Leo girl say just uh, right, just fake. Uh, she want that clown to start playing on her phone again. Oh, baby, but guess what, Leo Grady too. Barnyard Betty is twisted and she loves to make people uncomfortable. She ain't never stopped playing on the old bitch phone. Who you think that is calling her? It ain't nobody but Barnyard Betty. The same bitch that's calling my phone is calling Big CC. Don't ever get it twisted, y'all. Don't let BYB fool y'all. This bitch is, listen, this bitch is uh, uh, something wrong with her. <laughs> like, it don't stop. This bitch get a cheap kick out of fucking with people, making people uncomfortable comfortable waking those people up in the middle of the night know they owe this motherfucking methusis and they heart need the rest but instead of allowing them bitches to rest she gonna call they phone all motherfucking night long now you know when you owe and you hear a noise because i do it at 51 if my phone ring and i hear that motherfucker in the wee hours of the night i'm startled i'm like what the fuck is that because you know you get bad news in the middle of the night right so she got some guilty type of twisted pleasure on fucking with those people. Barnyard Betty is still playing on Big CC phone. She never stopped. Uh, Melinda say, daughter, just like mama, uh, got beaters. How about that Big CC? Yes. Yes, Melinda. Let me ping you, baby, to come to find out. And I know the email people sent it again. I don't know why when I tried to forward it over to Glam to Glam, it all disappeared out of my Gmail. But email people send it again, at least his name so we can look him up because I, I remembered his birthday. I remembered that he's 36. I know that his first name is Marquette Marquise, um, 36 years old. I remember he had one charge of um, domestic violence on a female. And I do remember that he was a parolee. And I also remember how he got one charge with having an open alcohol container in public Lo, well, I remember that being on his records as well just like Dimples that wrote a bunch of bad checks and she also got an assault with a deadly weapon and I think that was back that was years ago I think the check writing was more recent y'all I think she bounced checks a lot but that's how it is when you taking care of a no good man you know why my money lasts me y'all because my money stays in house it stays on me on my children, doing what the fuck I need to do. The reason why Dimples is over there bouncing bad checks, Big CC, is because she's providing a roof, food, clothing, uh, support to a man that don't even give a fuck about her. And his young ass probably, I wonder how many, hold on, y'all. 
Look at 1111. Thank you, Father God. Health and wealth, Jesus. Health and wealth. I want to see how many how many years older. Davion, can you subtract 44 from 36 and tell me what the age difference is? Uh, Tiffany say, Jackie Fags. Um, I was glad they reported her uh, cussing that boy out like that on live. Oh, wow. I must have missed something. I'm sorry. I dozed off listening. I'm not feeling good. I will catch the replay. Everyone have a beautiful blessing. Say you too, Miss Trina, and I pray you feels better. She's eight years old, so that means she was eight years old before that man was even motherfucking born. She fucking with a minor. I said thirty six. Show do sound young, maybe because my daughter is thirty three today. But that boyfriend is thirty six years old. He don't want her old decrepit ass. He don't want, look, dimples, dimples, you working all hard to take care of this 36-year-old baby. Like, girl, do better. Do, bitch, you ain't that mature. You was a, dimple got a lot of shit she hiding. She come on here quoting scriptures because she's a downright ghetto fabulous ass hillbilly. A stand-up woman don't want no little kid. But this bitch say, I take them cripple crazy, blind crazy. And what did Max Ready said the daddy was fucking with them? I could believe that the daddy probably was S and his daughters because they have a lot of promiscuous ways. And you know, a lot of promiscuous women come from uh, families where they have been sexually assaulted. Look at Bumpy Johnson. Bumpy Johnson is nasty because she's been uh, her innocence was stripped from her at a very young age and she identified with fuck her you know that has been awakened so I can see dimples and her sister uh, being victims of SA and who probably did it but Robert Robert probably and he probably did it with the granddaughter too this is why the granddaughter think that it's so okay to talk out loud about keeping penises in her mouth hold on because she was in Sorry, y'all, because the granddaughter was introduced to that at a young age. This is why they feel like it's okay. I wouldn't put it past her. Big CC is a woman that has been abused. Big CC is a woman that's represented that equate to trauma. Big CC stopped maturing because of something. Something happened to that old decrepit asshole, and it's going to take for her to get drunk to come on here and then she's going to tell on herself like the fuck she always do she always get on here my sisters they don't give a fuck now we know this is something else we found out about big cc because she tried to say that her nephew's a lawyer and he's a corporate lawyer well my daughter's a corporate lawyer too but anyway anyway she talked about that but then yesterday i don't know who all heard her said that she had a drug addict nephew that borrowed $60 from her and didn't bring the $60 back, but he could never bring his dope fiend ass to her and borrow anything else. So big CC nieces and nephews are not all stand up people. And not to say that his addiction make him um, a bad person because I don't know him. It just lets us know that she has addiction in her family as well. So when she talked that shit about what other people are going through, so the fuck are you, Big Cece? But it's going to take for that old drunk bitch to come on here drunk and she's going to tell on herself. Um, let me see. Janisha say, well, well, Rod is actually great. Oh, is it? So how do they recycle it, Janisha? Listen, I want to know. Hold on. Uh, don't forget to set your notifications. Yep, we're going to keep it popping. Uh, Dimples Robert and her boyfriend are criminals. Yes, they are, Melinda. Melinda, you got that right, baby. They all have criminal records every last one of them uh tell it all Roz michelle you know when i know y'all gonna know when i know i'm definitely gonna come here and air that bitch out uh she said that crackhead motherfucker oh her <laughs> Brittany, she showed me and Brittany, listen let me pin brit let me pin my baby right there y'all know i love me to Brittany. it's like a, a long lost daughter right Brittany, she showed that that motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we know uh, why they don't give a fuck about her exactly uh, that simp dimple uh, dimp um, always uh, gets me hands down Who? wait a minute that simp dimp 
um, always get me hands down. Okay, thank you, Miss Janice. You guys in the bushes, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, Dorky say he just like her because she pulls um on the knob and take care of him. Miss Darcy Vaughn, exactamendo. It's a lot of nothing ass niggas that want an old ho, a sugar mama, a bitch that don't mind. Cause listen, y'all, for dimples to live in a listen, let's let's sum this up before I go. Cause y'all know I do an hour, but I got a kitchen waiting on me to be clean. Listen, y'all, this bitch is making, it says from her job, Duke University, it says that she makes about 73K, right? 73K, she lives in a $50,000 tractor trailer. Her children are adults. She probably do little things for the grandbaby, but it doesn't seem like she buy milk and diapers because we already know the granddaughter has to go find milk and diapers when a boy said he wasn't giving her nothing right so we know that dimples ain't paying no whole bunch for a mortgage for rent she's she's just not she not she making about four to five forty five hundred dollars a month she don't have i mean i don't know how many groceries she buys but you know her money got to be going on her nigga <laughs> on her little bitty baby nigga the little baby youngster the third the 36 year old young man it got to be going on his wants and needs and probably his alcohol because it seemed like they all big alcoholics uh, just from his charges, uh, just from watching Dimples on her live from time to time. I don't want, I haven't seen her a lot, but the few times that I've tuned in, this bitch always got a cup of something to sit next to her. Um, we know her mama's a drunk. We know the daddy's a drunk. We've heard all these people. We know the daddy's a drunk because he took a life being drunk. So this is the facts that we have about these drunk motherfuckers. If this bitch is making about $4,500 a month, she don't provide for her grandchildren. And I don't know if, if, if the little albino baby is her only grandchild. It just seemed like they do favoritism. I don't know. It's weird. Um, I could never. I got six and I fuck with all mine equally, right? Um, that's the difference between me and these old bitches. But it seemed like they really favor this little white baby, this little albino baby, Casper the friendly motherfucking ghost. But anyway, so dimples where the fuck is your money going i'm telling y'all it's going on <laughs> can you hear me lucinda can you guys hear me lucinda said no sound uh 573 in the chat what'd you say baby oh i'm good okay so i'm trying to think what the fuck is you doing with 4,500? And that's, listen, y'all, and I'm guesstimating low because it's probably more than $4,500 a month. If she's in super, you know, supervised position, if she's making about 73K a year, um, where is the money? I can hear you. Okay, thank you, Luanda. Thank you, Lou. Uh, thank you, Miss Mary. Well, okay, you guys. Okay, Davion says she can hear me too. Hey, kitty lover. Um, it's not recycled. Um, it comes out the ground. There is no dirt. Uh, no chemical is the best water for you. Uh, that's what my doctor told me. Okay, 21 guys. So they on to something. So the well water is allegedly good water. Okay, uh, where y'all get 73 from? It's me, Riri. When you look up her position at Duke University, um, it gives you an estimated revenue. Um, it gives you the estimated revenue. And it says that, you know, in that position, at that location, it's about 73K. Um, and did, was that for um, was that for their state, Davion? Okay, that was for their state, 73. But my whole thing is, what is she doing with 73? She writes a gang of bad checks, you guys. And I don't know if she's recently wrote bad checks. I know she has a history of writing bad checks um, because she has been charged. Um, she has caught misdemeanors for those bad checks. And see, she'll never come on here and explain it. But I sent it over to Kim because I was able to screenshot some stuff for the sister circle. So what I screenshot, I was able to give to Glam. Uh, so Glam can verify that what I'm telling you guys is factual. Um, you know, so if you're writing bad checks, you don't provide for your grandson, you live in a tractor trailer that costs a total of about 50k, uh, that means that you probably pay five to six hundred dollars a month. What the fuck is you doing? Or maybe the bitch got a car note, but that man is getting a big bulk of that. He's only there because she's paying like her fat ass way. Like this is why she could walk around with the buttery gold teeth. 
he don't give a fuck because he don't give a fuck about her. As long as the money stay consecutive, consecutively coming to his pockets, he's going to stay. And her mother, her mother have raised her that a man is your end all be all. So it's nothing that she won't do for a man because her mama said, you got to hang in there throughout whatever. This is why the mama has hung in there while Robert went put his thing in all the dope things. While Robert hang with all the dope things from morning till night, she put up and sacrificed just to be able to say she got a man. So you know her daughters. She got the one daughter that don't come around. She already said that that daughter don't do nothing without her husband. Those bitches think that a man is everything. I, I bet you them hoes feel like a man is more important than God. I bet you that's what they feel. Uh, that young nigga is getting all getting that money. Miss Bridget, let me pin you. He's getting because even when we add it up, it doesn't make sense. This hoe ain't got no house payment. This hoe ain't got no big bills over there. This hoe don't provide for her grandchild. This hoe, where your money going to that 36-year-old man? That's why he there. Thank you, Miss Janice. And the more we look into him, because this is only the beginning, we will definitely find out more about Mr. Marquise. We're definitely going to find, you know, you know, eventually the email people, they, they going to give us all the information. I don't know how they get it or what they do, but it's like not one person that they don't know about on this most mother swinging social media internet. We're going to find out all of it. But from right now, for what we know, he's an ex convent or a current convent. I don't know when that, I can't remember the year, but he's definitely a person that was on paperwork on parole. So that means he was in prison. You don't get to be on parole without doing time in prison. That's not a county charge. That's a prison charge. Uh, that's a prison a requirement that pro e right we know that he beats women because i'm not saying allegedly because it was in black and white and i'm gonna you know i'm gonna believe what was sent to me and we know that he it didn't list him as working anywhere so i don't believe that he works i believe that dimple is a cash cow uh, for this young man and she knows it she knows it uh depends on the location well water is not always good um it can contain urine that, what is it called your ain your anal and not drinkable. Oh wow, it's me, Riri. Thank you for looking that up, baby. Thank you for looking that up. Uh, my first boyfriend dad had well water. I know it has suffered a uh, smell to it once boiled. It didn't smell. Okay, okay. So we finding out about well water. Uh, Cece and her family all have deep uh throat. <laughs> Sarah, Cece and her family all have deep throats. <laughs> <laughs> they all some head bangers. Uh, Jersey girls say Brittany Allen bats a uh, bad ass. Hey Denise, how you doing? Hey Ross and Spot and Chad, just hit and like and share. Catch the replay. I'm late. Okay, thank you. Uh, Danisha said I don't know. Um, I don't care. Um, I just know it's good to have fresh, clean taste. Uh, you definitely are able to tell the difference. Okay. Uh, Miss Bridget say they dig a deep hole rise and a and pump it. Okay, a deep hole and they pump it. I've never seen well water. I know I've seen it on old fashioned country movies, but y'all know I'm a city girl. So a lot of shit that I'm not in touch with, but I'm just so happy that you guys can enlighten me. Uh Roz, I heard her say that the nephew is a rock a rock star yes miss bridget so we know that all her nieces and nephews are not stand-up people some of them have addictions we know that the granddaughter somebody made her promiscuous way too young she's a 22 year old hothead that think it's cute to get her ass beat to get you know to talk about buking um out loud which that's a private um thing that if you choose to do it you're supposed to keep it in the privacy of your room or the privacy between you and your whoever you're with right but these hoes don't have no 
integrity. Um, they don't have any type of um, self-respect. <laughs> They're not self-respecting women. Uh, Dimples is an undercover whore. And the way, the reason why we know this, and I don't give a fuck, Big CC gonna come and say, oh, I'm jealous of her daughter. Your daughter is ugly, look like a bullfrog, a lot like you, uh, just a little darker. It's nothing attractive. Even if I was into women, it wouldn't be a big fat bullfrog looking hoe, right? With butter motherfucking teeth. It wouldn't. So I don't give a fuck about you saying that. You can say it until you turn blue in your motherfucking face, big CC. Your daughter is motherfucking disgusting and she takes care of dimples because I know you listen to bitch. You over there taking care of that young ass man and we're going to be able to bust it all out wide open if your raggly ass drunk ass mama don't come here and bust you out her motherfucking self. Anyway, hey Marianne, uh, dimples Robert and her boyfriend are criminals. Every last one of them. Every last one of them are criminals. Yes, they are. She has no room to talk. Uh, Marianne is speaking to she Sharon Leatherwood is so many. Sharon, I don't know if I spoke. Okay. Uh, Kitty Lover say having a man doesn't equate to happiness. Happiness comes from self. Let me ping you. Because a lot of simple bitches don't get that, Kitty Lover. A lot of these people, it makes me so mad because I live a happy life. And I don't have a, a one dedicated man that I deal with. I go on dates with a most, you know, multiple people. I only come on here for an hour up out my day. So that means I got 23 hours to go do whatever I'm doing and everybody ain't got to know unless you live by me, right? Or unless you know me up close and personal. But I go out with a few guys when I want to, when I feel like being bothered. But those men don't have to live with me. You're not going to catch them living here because I like my privacy. I like my space. I like the time, my, my downtime to myself when I don't feel like being bothered. I like the fact that I don't have to be bothered, right? Uh, let those ads run. Thank y'all. Yes, listen to the ads, y'all. But listen, the more I find out, the more I'm going to share. I'm going to be live today. And you guys, don't forget. Uh, yep, I think I'm hidden by Roz, but hey, Roz, no, you here, Laquan, I see you, baby, uh, my office, um, is in the desert, uh, we have well water, uh, we can't drink it, uh, by the law, uh, we have to give us public notice, okay, wow, by law, uh, Roz, speaking fact, yes, I am, I always gonna speak fact, because these hoes don't think that we, as women, uh, like to go out, like to be wined and dined, like to be romanced. We do. We do. I don't have to come here and say that. Um, I don't have to come here and, you know, um, you know, measure who I am by what man I'm up under. Uh, my phone rings. I, I talk to men. I do things with men all the time, you guys, but I did. I, keep it private because it's not a man that I'm going to make my husband. So the world don't have to know about it. I'm having a man, kitty lover. I think I had you pimp because it doesn't, but to these weak ass bitches, it's an end all be all right. It's end all be all only to weak bitches that can't be alone. Only to bitches that could not stand the ground up under their feet. Couldn't hold the ground up under their feet down alone. See me, I can look around and say, I did this. And that's an amazing feeling because I have accomplished a lot. I've raised four children. I am, you know, loving my grandbabies. When my babies come around, the things that they're touching and getting into belongs to me. I don't have to worry about my children um, bothering anybody else though, because everything at my home is mine and I can allow them uh, to touch it or do whatever. Um, it's just a beautiful, it's beautiful for me. It works for me, right? And I would never say all women that have a man is dumb. That's not a true statement. Some women was fortunate enough to get good men in their life. And that's a beautiful thing. I just think that the bitches we talk about, the Robert that walk on his ankles, the Dimples and Marquez and all the different, we, we don't see any stand-up men over here. 
We don't see too many that's with these uh, big titty patches. 11 motherfucking kids can't take care of nobody efficiently. We talking about these sorry motherfucking men, but I do believe that there are good men. I do believe that some of my sisters over here have great men, and that's a good thing, but not all. Not the ones we talk about. They just don't. And shout out to Miss Loretta Brown. Uh, keep popping your shit. Those hoes wish that they was on your level, but they're not. <laughs> they don't have your numbers, Miss Loretta. Keep doing you. And when that bitch say you stanky, say her motherfucking mama stanky. Your mama motherfucking stanky. Her fat, funky ass is stanky. I can't stand when that bitch say that. I'm just like, look at this fat bitch that's talking. Bitch, we all got fupas, including you, bitch. Big CC, your fupa is there, bitch. When you tell Miss Loretta to lift her stomach up, you lift yours up too, bitch. You lift yours up too, bitch, because you got one. But anyway, y'all, like I said, I'm back and I'm better. My babies are home. I'm finna post my daughter. I pray to God that y'all show my baby some love. I pray that we send her out to dinner. We send her to lunch. Uh, we do something that she can enjoy. I don't care what it is, you guys. Send my baby a, a, a token. It's her birthday, and she is home relaxing from a long vacation, but she deserves to go get her a slice of cake, too. I love you guys. I'm going to post it in my community post, and I'm going to also post it in the sister circle, and I'm going to say thank you in advance to anybody that take the time to show my baby some love and Miss Bridget I will send her um, I think YouTube is going to give me half of that $49.99 I'll send my Janae half and let her know that it came from you I love you guys if you guys haven't been over to the sister circle please go over there let's show our sisters some love um, we have a, a, a condolences over there um, I did speak on it we have birthdays over there let's go show each other love in the sister circle I love you guys and thank you guys for being a uh, raw squad. Thank you guys uh, for growing with me. Uh, thank you to all the new memberships. Thank you for all the love. I love you guys. And anything that I find out about these whack ass bitches, I'm definitely, you guys are going to be the first people that I come and share this information with. I love you, raw squad. I'm going to go. I'll, I'll go live. I'll go live on my way to my auntie house to show you guys her cup once I get dressed. Um, I'll go live before we get over there because I am going to go see my auntie and go enjoy this beautiful, sunny, amazing day. But I love you guys. Let's go have an amazing day on purpose. It's a beautiful day to be happy. If anything is going on with you guys, remember, take it to God. Take it to God and have faith that God will see you through. Um, I'm standing in that same uh, position with you guys. So I'm not telling you guys nothing that I'm not doing for myself. But I love you all. Let's tune in to everybody on the right side that will go live today because the support is well needed and appreciated. I love you guys. Let's have an amazing day. And you guys will definitely see me again today. Um, I don't know where. It probably would be. Um, a little bit later, going to my auntie's house, but this kitchen is looking at me, <laughs> and I'm looking at this kitchen, so I'm going to get in there, and I'm going to go clean my kitchen, take out something for dinner, and then I'm going to start slipping on my clothes. I love you, Raw Squad. Have an amazing day on purpose, and I will see everybody in the next video. Bye, Raw Squad. Love you all. Bye. Love you.